welcome to Bible Story Time. Today's story is a wonderful story. And here I am, right in front of church. Sometimes we call this God's house. And we go to God's house to worship him, to praise him, and to meet with other Christians. That's such an awesome thing to be able to do. Well, today's story is all about a young boy who lived at God's house and he worked at God's house. He helped Eli, the priest of God's house, who also lived there in whatever ways that Eli needed it. Eli was older and couldn't see very well. So our character today named Samuel was a big help to him. But God had even more things planned for Samuel than he could ever have thought. And God's going to talk to him. Today's story lets us in on that whole thing that happened. Come, let's hear our story. Today's story is going to tell us about a little boy named Samuel and how he heard God. Let's listen to our story. Hannah had wanted a baby for a very, very long time, and she had prayed to God. She had even gone to the temple with her husband and prayed to God, and there the priest named Eli saw her and talked with her about what she was praying about. He told her that God would answer her prayer, and God did. God gave Hannah a baby boy soon after that. How exciting. What an answer to prayer. Because God answered Hannah's prayer, Hannah said, I am going to dedicate this little boy to you, God, and I'm going to let him serve you in the temple. And that's how the little boy named Samuel ended up working and serving in the temple. When Samuel was probably eight, nine, or ten, somewhere in there, he started working in the temple. And by this time, the priest named Eli, who also worked at the temple, was getting very old and he couldn't see very well. So Eli helped, Samuel helped Eli a lot because he couldn't see. One night, Samuel unrolled his bed, his mat, and he laid down to go to sleep. He was always listening for Eli. And in the middle of the night, he heard, Samuel, Samuel. And he got up and he went to check on Eli. And he said, here I am. What do you need? And Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel went back to his mat and he laid back down to go to sleep. And again, he heard, Samuel, Samuel, and he got up and he went and said, here I am, what did you need? And Eli said, I didn't call you, go back to bed. Samuel went back to his mat and he laid back down and he went to sleep. But again, he heard Samuel, Samuel, and he got back up. And he ran to Eli and said, here I am. What do you need? You keep calling. And Eli said, I'm not calling you, but I know who is. It's God. I want you to go back to your mat, to lay down, to sleep. But the next time you hear that voice calling you, I want you to say, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. And that's exactly what Samuel did. He went back to his mat. He laid back down. And when he heard Samuel, Samuel, he said, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. And God talked to him and told him what he needed Samuel to do. And then Eli was able to ask Samuel later what God had said. And Samuel shared with him. What an exciting story. God talked to Samuel and Samuel listened. That's really what God wants. He wants us to hear him and to listen to him. I don't know how many of us will actually hear God call just like Samuel did, but I think that's a good thing for us to remember. What a great story. Thanks for listening.
a wonderful story all about Samuel, the little boy who served and worked in God's house. And here I am inside God's house. This is probably something like what Samuel would have been working in, helping to get things ready for people to come and worship. Wow, I can't even imagine doing that. But he did, and he served God well. And God had other big plans for Samuel's life. That's why he called to him and talked to him. What a neat thing. And it was important that Samuel listened, because then he could do what God wanted. It's important for us to listen, too, and God will speak to us in lots of different ways now. Maybe he'll speak to us through our moms or dads or grandmas or grandpas or brothers and sisters or friends or his word, the Bible. That's one place that God especially speaks to us. And if we read it every day and we learn the stories of the Bible and we learn verses and put them in our heart, that helps us to listen to God even better. Let's learn a verse together. We're going to learn a verse from 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 10b. So that's the second part of verse 10. This is the story that we told today, all about the boy Samuel listening. And verse 10b says, Then Samuel said, Speak, for your servant is listening. That's a wonderful verse. Wow. Let's see if we can practice that together and put it in our heart. 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 10b. Then Samuel said, speak, for your servant is listening. Wow. Let's put that verse in our heart and remember it this week, how we can listen to God every day of our lives. I hope you enjoyed that story about Samuel and how he heard God calling him at night when he was laying down in his bed and he thought it was something else until finally someone a little older and wiser, Eli the priest, said, it's God, you need to listen. I think that's a great story. It helps us to know that God is paying attention to our lives. And right now, our lives are kind of crazy with our virus going around and all of the things that we have to do because of that, like wearing masks and being very careful and staying home and all of those kinds of things. And that can make us kind of tense or anxious sometimes about what's going on. And maybe you just need to relax and to let your body just relax. And so I'm gonna teach you something that will help you to relax when you're laying down. Maybe you can do it before you go to sleep and it helps you sleep a little better. Let me show you. I just lay down and I take a deep breath and then I tense up my feet. I just squeeze my toes toward my feet and I just tense my feet up for a few seconds and then let them go. And then I tense my legs up like I'm getting ready to run. And then I let them go. And then I tense my hands up and I let them go. Do that with my arms and my shoulders. And then I scrunch my face all up really tight, like I'm squeezing my eyes shut. And then I let it go. And then I take a deep breath in and I let it go out. And then I'm relaxed and can go to sleep. That's a good thing to be able to do. I hope you give that a try. Give it a try and let me know what you think. Thanks for joining me today as we heard all about how Samuel lived and worked in God's house and heard God talking to him about the special plan for his life. God has a special plan for your life too. Let's pray to him and thank him for that today. God, thank you for the story of Samuel that helps us to remember that you have a plan for our lives, no matter how small we are, and that you have our best interest in mind and that you like to talk to us through your word and through people around us. Help us to listen, we pray in your name. Amen. Thanks for coming to Bible Storytime today. I can't wait to see you again next week. See you later.